Hello friends I have received few video tutorial requests from my subscriber that asked to me how to use Ajax with to log in with shake effect and website. In this video I want to discuss how to create a simple Ajax PHP login with shake effect on wrong entering password using my SQL database. jQuery shake effect is applied to shake a HTML element either vertical or horizontal direction. In some website, we can see this shake effect on invalid login attempt. For implementing this effect we have to use jQuery UI library. In this tutorial we are going see how to apply jQuery shake effect on a login form to represent invalid attempts. This effect is created by using jQuery effect function. Friends this is my simple table with name tbl user with column name user id, username and password. I have already inserted data with username is mike and password is encrypted. This encrypted password value is password. Friends this is my simple HTML page. I have used query JavaScript library, query UI library and bootstrap CSS and JavaScript framework. Now friends I defined box said, in this div I will perform shake effect on it. Now I write CSS code for format this box division. After formatting box division, I define form with method post. Now friends I define one text box with for entering username with name username and it is also username. After this I define input type password for entering password with name password and it is also password. Now friends I define one button with name login, it is also login and its value is login. After defining this form fields, now friends I define one division tag with an error. In this division tag I will display error message which is generated on entering new password. Now friends we are moved to some jQuery code. Website login event has done when user click on login button. So, we have make jQuery code on button with a dis login on click event. In this code first I define one variable username in which I will store value of text box with a username. Now friends I define second variable password in which I will store value of password which enter by user for login. Now friends I will check if both variable has some value or not. If box variables has value then it will call Ajax function otherwise it return false. Suppose both variable has some value then I have make ajax function. In this function I have following parameter dot first is url, in this I write login dot php. Second is method which is http method to use for the request, I have used post method. Third is data, in this data to be sent to the server. Here I send username and password data to server. Fourth is cache, if set to false, it will force requested pages not to be cached by the browser. Fifth is before send function, a pre-requested callback function that can be used to modify object before it is sent. Here I can change value of button from login to connecting. And lastly is success function, a function to be called if the request succeeds. If request succeed this function will call and can get data from server. If we get data from server that means username and password is right. If both data is right then I show home page in body tag I have load home.php page using jQuery load method and hide current login form using jQuery hide method.
If user enter wrong information then division with it will be shake two or three times. In query shake effect function, there is three parameter in effect function. First is direction we can set direction of shake like vertical or horizontal. Second is distance, we can specify shake distance, by default is 20 and third is times that means number of shakes. By default it is 3. So, here I use shake effect on box division, so this division will be shaking. If user enter wrong data then login button value will be changed from connecting to login and I display error message and division with an error using HTML method. So friends, now move to PHP code, in PHP code first, I start session on this page. For this I want to start session by using session start function. After this I want to check session variable like username has some value or not. On this value we can identify user is already logged in or not. If this session variable has some value then we want to redirect user to home.php page. Now friends I create one new PHP page login.php. In this page first I start session by session start function. After starting session I make database connection. After making database connection I want to check post value like username and password has value or not. If both have value then code will check this value into database. If both has some value then first I escape special characters in a string for use in an SQL statement using miscly real escape string function and store into variable. Username value is store into username variable and for password is used encrypted password so I use mdefy function for convert password into encrypted password and store into password variable. Now friends I make SQL query for select data where data has both value like username and password. Now I execute this SQL query using miscly query function and store result into result variable. Now friends I want to check number of rows in fetching data for this I use miscly num rows function and store into num row variable. If number of row is greater than zero that means user enter right information for login and if number of row is equal to zero that means user enter wrong data so no data will be sent back to Ajax request and on front end error message will appear. If number of row is greater than zero that means user enter right data so database server send user data for fetching data I used miscly fetch array function and store data array into data variable. Friends now I create one session variable username and into this variable I store username data which I fetch from database and store into username session variable. This session variable is available on all pages of website. So user can access all website pages with this session variable. Now friends I send back data like username to Ajax function. In Ajax success function we have write if data has some value then index page should hide and home should be appear on the screen. Now friends we see the output. Now friends I enter wrong login data then what happens? Oh login form is shaking and display error on web page. Now friends I enter right data. Right username is Mike and password is password which is encrypted store in database. So home page screen is appear with welcome message with username and logout screen. Now friends I make new PHP page home.php. 
In this page first I start session for checking session value by using session start function. Then after I check session value of username. If session username has no any value then it redirect to index.php page or this username session has value then it will stay on this page. Now friends say write welcome message with session username value. So username can see his name of welcome message. And lastly I write logout link for logout from website. In logout user all session will be destroyed and redirect to index.php page. Now friends say write code for logout. For logout I create one new PHP page with named logout.php. In logout.php. First I write session start function for starting session on this PHP page. After I write session destroy function. By using destroy function it destroy all session value from all web page. Now friends I want to redirect this page to index.php page. So friends this is my video tutorial on how to use Ajax with PHP for login with shake effect. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video. So friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.